Good evening. Uh, it is um, Wednesday, May 1st, 6.30 p.m. This is a meeting of the Wareham Finance Committee by Zoom, a completely remote meeting. And I'd like to call the meeting to order and ask the clerk to call the roll. And I can't see everybody's face right now, but I see a list of participants. Okay. Donna Camerano. Don't know. I know Jerry Stepanski is not here. Jody Smith is not able to attend. Uh, Julie Moran here, Matthew Rose. I am present. Uh, Dom and Brianna are both in the waiting room. Okay. okay. If, if the, um, if the uh, um, person handling the meeting could please let them in. I do not have control of that. I see Brianna. Brianna is now in the meeting. This is Dom Camerano. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, okay. we can. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I just did try to do the setup for Dom. He's going to sit here and do what he has to do. It, All right. That's the slaving way, I believe. Um, <laughs> what, do I got, what do I got to do? Sit in the chair and talk to these people. Okay. Thank and you. If, Dom, if you don't mind being on video, you can hit the little camera that's down at the bottom and it will allow us to see you. But otherwise, uh, it'll just show your name. That's okay. See if she can figure it out. Because I'm lost with this. You know that. I understand. I understand. Uh, I appreciate everybody I making. I see the thing with the little, I don't see a little camera. It's down at the bottom of the screen on the left. There's a little microphone and next to that a camera. No. Okay. You don't have that? Okay. Well, it does. It's it's not essential that we be able to see you. Um, as long as we can, as you can hear us and we can hear you. Okay. And, and Brianna is in as well. Uh, she was in attendance. I don't see her on either list right now. All right. Voice is good, honey. All right, then I'm only seeing we must have bounced on the switcher that panelist. And we don't have Heidi yet, so that's only four of us at the moment, right? Uh one, two, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's only four of us. All right, that is allegedly not a quorum. That's not a quorum. Yeah. That's... All right. All right. What? Brianna's back in the waiting in the attendance again. Okay. Are you able to let Brianna in? If Brianna is using the app, it says recording. I don't know. it'll kick her every time. She needs to go on to the actual website, the Zoom website, not the app. Okay. Let me um, let me try to reach out to her real quick. Ask them if they can hear you. So, Norma, I, I don't see the vi video, but you can hear me, correct? We can hear you. It, it's just is your, your video. Is that good mm -hmm. enough? That's Yes, it is. Very good. Thank you. I think you can stop the recording. Yeah, see. Okay. Oh. Okay, she says she's on. She, I see her on the attendance list, but she doesn't have uh, access to a microphone. She's been, she's still muted. Okay. Um, I'll ask her to unmute. Well, okay. Oh, there she is. Okay. Yep. There we go. Hello. We can, we can see we can see your uh, blue box B. Um, <laughs> if you want to be seen on video, you can hit the little video camera. Otherwise, as long as we can hear you and you can hear us, everything's fine. Yep. And you're here. Perfect. So, yes, we have a quorum. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very much. Sounds All right. Good. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I think this is going to be a fairly short meeting, but I thought it was important to at least take care of making sure our bills get paid uh, in a timely manner. 
Um, so I will start with the first item on the agenda, which is the approval of the April 3rd, 2024 and April 22nd, 2024 minutes. Are there any corrections on either of those sets of minutes? Not that I could see. All right. All right. Hearing no corrections, those minutes are approved. Um, next item is a report of the chair on payment of the Barrasso invoice in the amount of $62.50. I have submitted that to the town accountant under our procedures of um, the chair being able to authorize those kinds of payments without a vote, uh, but I am reporting that back to you. Uh, I actually meant this afternoon, I met with uh, Derek at noon today, as is our custom, and I meant to ask him how we're doing on our budget. I know our budget is $10,000, and I doubt we have spent $1,000. So I think we're doing very, very well. Um, uh, next item is the vote to approve payment of the WB Mason invoices in the amount of $106.98 and $53.49 for the town meeting re report paper. As you should probably remember, instead of st paying Staples several thousand dollars to print up the town meeting report, we are now doing it in-house uh, with the co cooperation and help of Derek's office, and particularly uh, of uh, Patty Neal, who's a huge help on this. Um, and as a result, all we're really paying is this small amount for paper. Um, can I get a motion on um, payment of those invoices? Motion to approve the payment. All right. Is there a second? Second. Okay, so motion by Dom, second by Julie. Uh, is there any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Actually, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'll, I'll have to do a roll call vote because we are fully remote. So, um, Matt? Uh, yes. Dom? Yes. Brianna? Yes. Julie? Yes. And myself, yes. So that passes 5-0. All right. Uh, the, the next thing that I thought we might as well touch on, um, since it's happened in the recent past, but in the middle of town meeting preparation, what is that I did attend the um, Association of Town Finance Committee. I, I, I said an annual meeting. It's actually the spring conference. Um, but twice a year, the Association of F Town Finance Committees has um, has a, a sort of very helpful informational conference meeting. Um, where we are updated on what's going on statewide and uh, look into some thought, some things about the kind of work that we do. And it's an interesting time to meet people from other towns and see how they are doing things. So I attended that um, in April. And uh, the, I guess the main takeaway that I wanted to share with you uh, is that there was a really excellent presentation by Sean Cronin, who is with um, the uh, Division of Legal Services of the Department of Revenue for the state. Uh, he went over in detail the, the, uh, a piece of legislation that's been put together with a lot of input. And uh, if you're interested, I can share the PowerPoint from that. I don't. We don't yet have a final resolution of whether all of that pass is passing or not. Will pass the legislature, but it um, provides for a few things. And the main things that I think are useful for us to know about is the possibility of increases in the um, the re lodging and restaurant taxes, small increases on that by, by local option, whereby we could raise a little bit more revenue and the potential to raise the, uh, the motor vehicle excise tax with a surcharge. Altogether, that would not, that would give us, you know, another, I don't know, less than $200,000. So it's not gonna solve every problem that we have, but I think it's important to be paying attention to where it is possible to raise additional funds. The other thing though, is something that Derek and I have been talking about for a while and that he is open to. And that is the possibility of asking the Department of uh, the Division of Local Services to do a financial management review of the town. This was last done in 2010. It's been quite a while. And at that time, I've gone back and, and read over it. it. Things were really bad. If you think things are rough now, it, it doesn't even come close to the condition we were in at that time. 2010 uh, bad. I'm sorry, Dom, what was that? 2010 was bad. 2010 was very bad. And yes. um, that's 
so uh, there were 42 recommendations that came out of that. That's a really large number of recommendations for this kind of review. Uh, in 2016, with the help of DLS, we also put into place some financial management policies. And that I think we can credit all of that with a lot of that and, and the professional staff that we have is, is a lot of the reason that we are in as good shape as we are now, that we are no longer on the verge of bankruptcy. Um, I think it would be useful to consider asking for an, another um, financial management review. And Derek is open to that. I believe that the procedure is to ask the select board to request that. I'm not gonna, I don't wanna vote on that today. Uh, I wanna send you off some more information uh, so that at a later date, we can discuss in more detail whether this is a good idea. Um, but it, it's, of course, on our part, it's purely advisory. We don't have the authority to make this happen. But I do think as a finance committee, it behooves us to try to come up with ways to help the town solve whatever problems we can. And um, it just strikes me that it's almost always a good idea to have a set of outside eyes, especially expert eyes, looking at how you're doing things and just making helpful suggestions. It wouldn't be a mandate. It wouldn't be that we have no choice but to do these things, but it would provide uh, the select board and the town administrator with some, maybe some new ideas. And Does Norma, anybody... is there a cost associated with it? Do we bear the cost of that? But There's, it's... My understanding is that there is no cost. This is something okay. that's provide. So it's basically uh, a, a consulting type uh, gig that the state provides and has the staff for. Um, so it's, I guess you could, could call it a sort of a grant, but there's no, no money exchanged at all. Okay. And I know based on the early one, which I looked at briefly, there are, they do make some recommendations generally. I mean, putting aside 2010 was, you know, uh, obviously a much different, relatively speaking, different time, but um, so I certainly think expert eyes and then some some additional advice comments would be helpful for the town for sure. Anyone else have thoughts on any of that? Nor is just asking the select board to vote on it. That's all we have to do. There's nothing else required. The, I, they we would I think I think the procedure would be and I would want to coordinate, you know, make sure I'm doing this right. Um, but I think if we voted to request or suggest that the select board ask for this kind of review, um, they they could vote it up or down. A Alan, do you have a, a comment on that? I, sh I don't believe there'd be any issue with that at all. We did that back in 2010, mainly because the, I'm putting a, a chat in also, we had the town administrator back then uh, took $1.5 million out of what we call the healthcare trust fund because we were self-insured. I think 900,000 went to the school, 600,000 went to the town for their budget. They were advised, the town minister, not to do it. He had done this before in Lawrence, uh, didn't listen to the DLS or the DOR, and it caused some real problems for us. Thankfully, myself and Mr. Sullivan sat down with George Barrett from the Fire and Water District and we talked about when Derek came in about what options were available to us for health insurance. And that's how we got into the Mayflower Group. And I believe that one uh, thing that we did, which was really right, saved us almost $600,000 the first year. Uh, we got out from under the healthcare trust fund, the negative uh, numbers. We were supposed to have 75%. The employees, 25 was virtually reversed. Uh, and that was the beginning of moving the right direction where the DOR, as of today, uses Wareham as a poster child for how to do things correctly. So there should be no issue whatsoever. Yeah, I, I just I think maybe the they'll they'll come in and say you're doing everything exactly right. Just keep doing what you're doing. But I do think it's uh, it's been 14 years. I think it's probably time to do this again. Good idea. Any, any other comments or thoughts? Norma, through you to Alan. Alan, we, we, did did we get fined for that? I remember that. No, we, we didn't. It was just. A, a, it was just a dumb, it was just a, a friendly warning of not a good thing to do, which they didn't listen to at the time. And like I say, it would have caused us to have to make some major cuts in different departments, which would have really kind of been draconian. 
I, I think it when my chat may have been up and blown up, but we were yeah. never we were never in the position of going into bankruptcy. Uh, we mm -hmm. had way too many assets versus liabilities. The problem was is if we went to borrow money, we didn't really have the ability to pay it back. So we were never actually in any any I, uh, any chance of being into bankruptcy. I was thank you, the, thank you for that clarification. I I, I just spoke. Yes, Dom. No, that's okay. Thank you, Norma. Okay. All right. So uh, I'm I'm thinking that maybe at our next meeting I will provide some of this information, and maybe you all can do your own thinking and research. Uh, uh, you, you can just go to the um, Department of Local or Division of Local Services website, mass.gov, and um, you can see examples of other things that have been done recently. There are, there are actually a number of different kinds of reviews they can do, but this is the one that would be sort of within our purview as far as I'm concerned. So um, I, I just don't want us to jump into asking for something that's, I, I mean, it will, will take some staff time. It will take some, some people's time. So in that sense, it's not completely free. Nothing is free, right? But uh, I think overall, the value we would get would be pretty significant. I agree. All right. So uh, next item on the agenda is uh, a reminder that we, Matt and I, are both both have our terms ending at the end of June. We are both eligible to reapply. Um, we need to get on that if we are going to do so. If Matt, if you're not going to do that, please let me know um, as soon as you've made a decision. Dom is Dom's. Uh, uh, term is up and he is not eligible to reply for another year. So uh, with the vote of town meeting to go down to seven, that would get us down to, uh, let's see, that would get us down to to seven for sure, sure. And depending on what Matt does and what anyone else may choose to do, we could end up um, down a bit more. And we do have one application in. <laughs> Um, at this point, uh, and that's Alan. Maybe, maybe I, I understand that you you reserve the right to change your mind, and I completely support you in that. Um, but in any event, he had asked that we not uh, not get into it until after the election, which, of course, as you will recall, is Tuesday. Uh, please vote. Um, yes. <laughs> and uh, and along those lines. Uh, under uh, other un un unanticipated business, I do want to say it's become clear to me in the last day or two that there's a lot of confusion about the ballot question. And I want to urge you all to vote in favor of the ballot question on the charter. This is a ministerial act. It is just a final rubber stamp on what was done at town meeting in 2021. It was action on it was delayed because of the pandemic. There is nothing that keeps someone who has some reason for a charter change from proposing that in another context, uh, in another town meeting, but we really need to make sure this charter is, is tucked away. And I think a lot of people aren't aware that the question is out there. And if they are aware, they're not, they're getting confusing messaging about it somehow being illegal or something like that. Everything was done according to the rules. And that's, there's just some misinformation out there. So I just wanted to mention that. I I actually want to say the same thing. This is all something that that's already been voted on by the town of Wareham, by the residents of the town of Wareham, and it's gone through the attorney general's office. If anything was illegal, the attorney general would not allow us to put this on the ballot. Right. So anyone that's listening or anyone that's paying attention, this is something that's been voted on, gone through the attorney general, and has come back to our hands. It's actually gone through the state legislature. It has gone through the House and the Senate, and Governor Baker signed it, it, which is a procedure that's needed under in certain kinds of charter changes. Not all charter, most charter changes just go through the attorney general. But in this case, it, it had to go through all these additional steps, but it was a required 10 year review. It part, a big part of it was just putting in the gender neutral terms that are required by, this, by the Commonwealth now and some things like that. And then there were just some cleanup to, to make things work better. Um, I actually went back. I was not a, a registered voter in Massachusetts at that time. I was living in Tennessee, but I went back and watched the video from that town meeting. And I, I, I really think I deserve a pat on the back for that because that was not an easy thing to do. It was a five hour, over five hour meeting. 
And um, I listened to every bit of the discussion on that charter um, amendment. And there, everyone got to s speak their piece, debate the issues, and it came out the way it came out and it should be approved. Social media right now is against it. You know that. Well, some of it is, I do know that. And then there are some signs out there, but I, I I would urge you all to make sure that your friends and neighbors and family know that this is a really important thing and that it is, it is not, it shouldn't be controversial. Thank you. All right. Well, with that, um, I've got down uh, our next meeting to be um, June 26th. Could be a full Zoom meeting. It kind of just depends. That will be, I guess, Dom's last meeting. Uh, we, we, I'm anticipating we'll have at least one budget transfer to do. Um, and who knows what else may come up before then, but we could also discuss the, the request, a potential request for a financial management review at that time. Uh, but unless something happens that I'm not expecting, I don't know why we would need to have another meeting before then. So the next meeting is when, Norma? June 26th. Last okay. Wednesday in June. Thank you. And I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be out of town then. So at, at the very least, I will need to be remote, whether uh, whether that means someone else has to chair the meeting or uh, or whatever, but um, or we could do a full remote. Thank All you. right. And All if right. there. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All right. Motion and second. Uh, any, oh, we can't debate that. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right, uh, it passes. Oh, I'm sorry, R let's do a, a real roll call vote. Um, Matt? Yes. Uh, yes. Dom? Yes. Brianna? Yes. Julie? Yes. And I also vote yes, and we are adjourned. Thank you. Norma, Thank you for helping Gail get online. Oh, no problem. Glad to do it.